Hello students. Today we are going to start with the next step of the NCRT. It is given that the methods of animal breeding. So what are the methods of animal breeding we have? and why we are going to uh, go for this animal breeding technology the reason is first of all whenever we have discussed the dairy farm management or the poultry farm management what we have seen that for a proper management of a farm we have to select a good breed right so how we can able to select a good breed having some advantageous characteristics from the animal husbandry point of view or for our own benefit those characteristics when we can able to get whenever we control the mating process of the animals okay of the domesticated animals that one will be known as the breeding technology so already in the video first video i have given already that what is breeding breeding means controlled mating technology so what are the controlled breeding or controlled mating technology see we have basically two breeding techniques one is in breeding and another is the out breeding breeding the breed word you have to know first of all the species under the species we have numbers of varieties of breeds for species if i give you an example for your easier uh, understanding that is suppose dog and um, this dog is a species right under the dog we have varieties of breeds what are the breeds like suppose dalmatian then the pitbull then pomeranian then pug so these are the different breeds right so these breeds they are known as the breeds actually under the species dog right so first concept to understand what is breed okay and what is species so species is different okay under the species we have different different breeds right now just see what is inbreeding within the same breed if the process of mating is going on then this will be known as inbreeding technology and outside the breed maybe within the same species or different species then what we can call it this will be known as the outbreeding okay so this is known as inbreeding if it is the mating of superior male and superior female having the common ancestor within 4 to 6 generation that is known as inbreeding now what is superior male and superior female superior male means the male will have high or good quality qualities like the strength resistant to the disease high life span these are the good qualities of a male then we can call it as a superior male and to be called as a superior female the characters should be present in the female like the high yielding that means the milk production is high milk quality is high resistant to the disease these are the a uh, good quality okay so superior male and superior female is selected within the same breed having common ancestors within 4 to 6 generation that is known as the inbreeding technique right now why one will have the inbreeding technique that if you want to conserve one characteristic that is the high milk yield okay then what we can go for we can go for the inbreeding technique right it maintains the pure line and it will maintain the homozygosity okay so that's why we can go for the inbreeding technique okay but for several generations if we go for the inbreeding generations after generation then sometime it may be possible that as the gene pool is the same within that combination is going on then it is possible that some of the weak gene or disadvantages genes that can be expressed and if some disadvantages genes are expressed then this is known as inbreeding depression and to overcome inbreeding depression what we can go for a single outbreed so one single outbreed can overcome inbreeding depression this is given in ncrt so to see in outbreeding what we can go for see outbreeding means outside the breed 
it can be of any cross okay then it can it, it will be known as the outbreeding so there are different types of outbreeding techniques are here like outcrossing outcrossing means it is the mating of the same breed but having no common ancestors within four to six generation then this will be known as the outcrossing right but the same breed okay we are not going uh, crossing the breed within the same breed but having just no common ancestors they are known as outcrossing but if it is a different breed okay so superior male and superior female of a different breed that will be known as the crossbreeding okay so just see the difference between the outcross and crossbreed outcross means mating of male and a female but having no common ancestors within the uh, same generation within 40 for sorry four to six generation that will be known as outcrossing right and what is that next that is the crossbreeding crossbreeding means superior male and superior female of one breed with the sorry one thing the superior male of one breed with the superior female of another breed if we cross then we will get the crossbreed and if the species changes then it will be known as interspecific hybridization so this way you will not understand so let me tell you first of all this is suppose species one okay this is species one and this is species two okay so under that species we have two breeds suppose this is breed one okay and this is breed two okay and under that species two also we have two breeds suppose this is breed a and this is breed b okay right now to see what is inbreeding okay in that inbreeding what we have uh, what we will see suppose these are the species okay sorry these are some uh, suppose example you can take one example cow red cindy suppose this is red cindy only so this red cindy under that we will see that which one have good quality we will first of all select which one is superior male suppose this is the superior male suppose it is more stronger okay and this one this is suppose superior female because it uh, suppose milk productivity is more suppose okay then from this two we will breed okay then we get once again four cattle right so from that also cattle what we will see suppose two of them they have good quality so we will collect one second suppose this one male have good quality superior male and this is superior female one second we will cross then one second we get suppose three of them then after that one second we will breed suppose this two of them are good superior of good quality then one second we will breed then one second they gave suppose four offspring then one second we select the superior male and superior female then after that we get the four breeds right so what is this see first one this is the first generation right this is first generation this is second generation third generation fourth this is fifth and just take one example this is sixth generation right so this two have suppose good quality so this will be four offspring okay this will be the sixth generation okay so whenever we are crossing whenever we are crossing the male and the female of the same breed having common ancestors within four to six generation then what we can call it this will be known as inbreeding but what happened the gene pool remains same right and as the gene pool is remaining same some type of weak gene disadvantageous characteristics can express can be expressed in this expressing suppose why we are selecting here the superior male and female because some of the others have not that advantageous characteristics isn't that suppose after that we have seen this one this production of milk of that cow after six generation is very less right so whenever we have seen that this cow do not produce that amount of milk but 
in having this ancestral line that all of the great grandparents, their uh, parents or great 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 uh, grandparents, they produce good amount of milk. Then why this cow is not producing that amount of milk? The reason is maybe some disadvantageous characteristics because heterozygous characteristics can be there. So heterozygosity can be expressed, and if it is expressed, then what can happen? Some um, disadvantageous characteristics are expressed, and that is known as inbreeding depression. Now, what we are going to do with that cow? Now, this inbreeding depression can be overcome by one single outbreeding, right? What is that? See, now what is happening? See, this cow will be mated with one another cow, but having no common ancestors within four to six generations, but the same breed. Suppose this one, okay? So this cow also had given birth, isn't? So this is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, so this is the another cow. Okay, same breed, is it? Now just see what happened whenever we take this cow and breed this two within the same breed, having no common ancestors within four to six generation. What we can call it? This will be known as the outcrossing. This will be OC. Okay, and what are all those? This will be inbreeding. These are IB. Got it? So, to overcome inbreeding depression, what we can go for? We can go for the next one. That means now we are going for the outcrossing technique. Right? So, just see mating of the same breed. Yes, this one is same breed. Right? Mating of same breed animals male and a female having no common ancestors within four to six generation but same breed right what is that this is outcrossing understood everybody so this one will be known as the this one will be known as outcrossing next one see crossbreeding what is crossbreeding see superior male and superior female of different different breeds okay now just see this is one, this is another that is breed two. Suppose this is red cindy, no? Remember this was the red cindy. Next one, suppose here this is the suppose this is a different breed, right? Okay. This is different breed, right? Now once again, these are the different breeds having okay. Now, forget about their ancestral pedigree analysis. First of all, see, see in this crossbreeding, what will happen? Superior male of one breed. Suppose this one is the superior male. Okay, we have selected this one. Now, yeah, this one is the superior male, right? So, this superior male will cross with one superior female. Okay, so this one and this one. So earlier we cross superior male and female we have taken to produce into suppose produce high quality male and female is it that offspring? Now if we cross this two, right? See superior male of one breed. So it is fulfilling this criteria. Superior male of one breed with the superior female of a different breed but the same species what we can call it this will be known as the cross breeding this is known as cb cross breeding got it superior male of one breed with superior female of different breed of the same species obviously there will be no question will arise that within six four six generation or not obviously not so Different different breeds we will select superior male and female we will select then after that allow them to breed this will be crossbreeding right and this crossbreeding is very famous uh, earlier I have told you that red cindy was crossed with suppose brown switch okay so sahiwal was crossed with a uh, Russian hosting so this way we can cross and we can get actually one um, one uh, hybrid that is going to have qualities of both this breed and this breed so this is one very good technique for the animal husbandry for in or to develop the breed quality 
Now just see the next one that is interspecific hybridization. So when the interspecific hybridization can be possible? Interspecific hybridization will be possible which is just separated lately in the last few million years earlier in this evolution, okay, evolutionary time period that what we can breed that we can able to breed the male and the female of different different species suppose we have taken one example the suppose the species one is suppose one horse okay and this one this is suppose a donkey right so now this mating of donkey and horse okay this one with this one okay or suppose tiger with lion okay then what we can call it this will be known as interspecific hybridization you understand that so just see this will be the different types of breeding within the same breed this black card lining only you have to see this is inbreeding having no common ancestors within the same breed this will be known as outcrossing okay next one superior male and superior female with different different breeds that will be known as crossbreeding and if it is different different species that will be known as interspecific hybridization okay so hope you have understood just try to understand and this is very much sure that in your course exam this will come and from neat point of view some questions will come very important that the examples of crossbreeding or interspecific hybridization so let us see all those okay so first of all let us understand and take a note now let us see some examples of crossbreeding and interspecific hybridization so we don't have the examples of inbreeding and outcrossing because it is carried within the same breed. So let's just see in case of crossbreeding, basically in case of cow, we have different type of crossbreeds. First crossbreed is current Swiss. Coron, uh, this one, current Swiss, this is actually crossed with Shahiwal cow and semen of brown Swiss. Okay, so how the semen is collected from brown Swiss, maybe brown Swiss is in a different continent so that semen will be collected it is preserved in 196 minus 196 degrees celsius in liquid nitrogen it is carried and it is injected into the shahiwal cow okay so that offspring that will be known as current swiss next one this is known as sunandini sunandini is actually uh, offspring of a nondescript cow with brown swiss jersey or holstein fraschian next one third example is freshwell okay so freshwell is one example where the shahiwal cow is crossed with or it is actually fertilized with or it is injected with the uh, semen of holstein fraschian okay so this way we can get three examples we can get another numbers of examples also okay so let us see some another examples of interspecific hybridization this example is there in your book that is mule mule is an example of male donkey and female horse uh, offspring okay so that male donkey will be known as jack and female horse will be known as mare okay next some another examples you can take that is hinni hinni uh, male horse and female donkey so uh, you have to know one thing that is going to be important so the first letter will be the male offspring right so from the horse male horse that h word come okay next one liger so the male will be lion and female tiger and next one is tiger that means the male tiger is crossed with the female lion so this way we can get the examples of interspecific hybridization where you will get the different animals 
which are of different species of spring okay which just get separated in the phylogenetic evolutionary line they just recently get separated and form two different species but then also in control technique they can be crossed but it has to be noticed also that if it is mule mule though it is a one human made organism but this organism is not selected by nature because mule is infertile or it is sterile one example of this cross breeding is given from the ncrt what is that hisarded and this question is very much common from your ncrt and this will come in your boards this is very much important question that one example of cross breeding is hisarded so this hisarded is actually a cross of merino rams and becanary ewes which is one example of cross breeding so these are the various examples i have given so you have to remember all of this how to remember the interspecific hybridization the first letter of that species which is now produced due to the uh, interspecific hybridization so first letter will be the male organism so if it is liger or tiger remember liger means male lion with female tiger tiger male tiger with female lion so this way this thing you have to remember hini mule are the other examples of um interspecific hybridization and if it is the cross breeding we have hisardale karansway sunandini freshwell and various example you will get so these are all about the methods of animal uh, breeding technology the next breeding technology we will see it this is moet or multiple ovulation embryo transfer technique let us see that so after that let us move to the next part that is multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology so very often it is asked what is the uh, short form that is moet moet stands for so if it is given what is moet stands for then you have to write multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology very often the people the students used to write like multiple ovulation embryo transfer only okay moet do it is given only one t but it is transfer technology okay right remember that so uh, just see in this technology actually how the whole heart production heart size can be increased actually this procedure is to increase the heart size okay is to increase the heart size okay just to increase the heart size this multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology is uh carried on okay so just see how this process will be carried on it is very much important for the board so just listen carefully first of all one superior quality female okay so this is the superior quality female right so one superior quality female is taken okay then after that this female will be injected with some hormone fsh like hormone so one fsh like hormone is injected fsh like okay so follicular stimulating hormone like one hormone is injected into the superior quality female right then after that after that what will happen this fsh like hormone is injected so that it will undergo to undergo super ovulation okay so what is super ovulation is it like the ovum produced with superior quality no so what will happen already this is superior quality female so if fsh like hormone is injected then it will undergo super ovulation that means instead of one egg now it will produce 6 to 8 eggs 
okay so six to eight eggs it is going to produce understand so uh, to remember that six to eight eggs it is going to produce instead if suppose we don't give fsh like hormone in one cycle it will produce only one egg isn't it if we inject the fsh like hormone then what will happen this female superior quality female will produce around six to eight eggs right then after that after that what we are going to do will that extract it no it will be not extracted what we are going to do we will induce this female that means in the reproductive tract okay the semen semen of superior male is injected so if the semen of superior quality male is injected then what will happen all of the eggs are going to get fertilized isn't that so here the semen is going to fertilize all the eggs right so all of the eggs are going to get fertilized so after that <clears throat> so from six to eight eggs what will happen it will produce six to eight zygote isn't that so whenever six to eight zygote is produced then what will happen will that zygote will be removed no this zygote will proceed to the very few stages of cleavage okay so how many cleavage will complete so see after that zygote has been formed the zygote will go on dividing that means it is going to undergo cleavage process mitosis will occur so during mitosis it will produce 8 to 32 cell stage okay so after third to fourth cleavage what will happen um, zygotes all of the zygotes are now in the state of 8 to 32 cell stage then after that what will happen what we are going to do that this 8 to 32 cell embryos okay so all of this embryos of 8 to 32 cell stage are non-surgically non-surgically removed okay so non-surgically the embryos of 8 to 32 cell stage it will be removed and if it is injected into the surrogate mother that means now it will be injected to the other mother suppose this is one cow okay then this way a number of cows <laughs> so i'm drawing so to a number of cows it will be okay so these are all non-genetic mother that means they are not going to have the genetic combination isn't that so they will just carry the full term baby okay so just the full time uh, embryogenesis will be completed into the cow's body so these are what these are the surrogate mothers okay the mothers means these are just non-genetical mothers this 8 to 32 celled embryos will be non-surgically removed from this genetic mother that means this mother and it will be injected to non-genetical each cow okay so that it can complete complete the full term embryo genesis and the new offsprings they will come out it will be with good quality and superior uh, qualities heart okay so if we don't go for moet then the heart size c suppose this for female if we don't inject fsh like hormone then what will happen in one year or maybe at an interval of two years it will produce only one liter one cattle isn't that one calf only 
so if we don't go for moet heart size will be very much small isn't that the gestation period is high long period of time so that's that's why what will happen it will produce the high quality um, suppose offspring but it will take more time so that's why moet multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology that is used so that within small period of time we can increase the heart size that means within suppose 2 years we can increase from suppose only one female we can get suppose 30 40 of calf all of them they are of good uh, superior qualities okay so what is that that is a multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology so once this ovum that means this embryos of 8 to 32 cell stage is removed then this cow will be available for the next round that means one again once again FSH like hormone will be injected so if once again FSH like hormones will be injected she will turn once again another cycle so this way it will be just this cow will act like just the egg or egg donor okay so it will produce numbers of eggs only so that's all about the multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology so hope you have understood the different breeding technologies inbreeding outbreeding outcrossing crossbreeding interspecific hybridization then after that multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology this is very much important maybe from the dairy farm management or from poultry farm management question will not come but this one from board point of view is very much important as well as from the need point of view that is the different crossbreeds names then multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology what is the cell stage how many eggs are produced so these things are very much common in need examination so clear it out make note read so that's all about the um uh, that all about the breeding technologies that's all about the video thank you